Hello everyone, my name is Loco, and today it is time to introduce another hero of Overwatch. Today we're gonna have a look at Lucio. I had the chance to actually play him a couple of days ago over at the Gamescom, the event where he actually got announced as well. Cool, come on, let's bring it together. Last week we had a look at Bastion, but if you have any suggestions for the next hero I should cover in this series, let me know down below the like button in the comment section. The goal for this video is to quickly introduce Lucio with all the necessary information to give you a head start when the game goes into beta, likely later this year. Lucio is a very interesting support character. He's extremely mobile and he brings a couple of nice buffs to the field. As Lucio, you will be responsible for helping your team out and less so about dealing damage. Lucio is a DJ and all of his abilities have to do with music, but before we really talk about lore, let's have a look at his abilities as well as some gameplay. The first ability on the left mouse button is Lucio's Sonic Amplifier. This is a relatively tough to land ability and it does a little bit of damage, but most importantly it pushes enemies backwards. Unlike some of the other heroes in the game, Lucio also has another ability on his right mouse button called Soundwave. You can use it to push away a target on a relatively low cooldown and it's obviously great at short distance. It also can be used to push enemies out of the level, which will actually eliminate them by pushing them in the water or, you know, just throwing them off of a ledge. The key ability on Lucio and why he is going to be popular is Crossfade, which is his shift ability. Let's up the tempo. Yeah, time to heal up. This is a very interesting skill that has two buffs, of which only one can be active at a time. Either he boosts his own and his allies around him with movement speed, or he regenerates his own health and his allies around him as well. He can constantly switch on the fly and he can constantly switch between those two abilities without any kind of cooldown. This means that as a Lucio player, you will constantly have to decide whether or not you need that extra movement speed or whether or not you want to be healing up your allies. His E ability is called Amp It Up and it basically makes Crossfade, the shift ability that we just talked about, even more powerful. <laughs> Amp it up! So you can heal even more or you can get even more movement speed for you and your allies. Let's drop the beat! The ultimate ability, Lucio's Q, is called Sound Barrier, and after activating it, allies that are nearby will gain a shield that protects from damage for a little while. Obviously, all in all, Lucio is going to be a support character that will specialize on positioning as well as healing. In general though, Lucio is a very fast character. Something interesting to note about Lucio is that he can actually also wall right. He is fast enough to use his roller blades, who sort of don't have any kind of wheels on there, to cover terrain like no one else in the game can. You can run over a wall, and the movement speed and positioning make this a very, very difficult hero to play. With the limited amount of time that I did have with Lucio, it was obvious that he shines in team play with proper communication and objective-based play. He is easily one of the most powerful and versatile heroes of Overwatch that rewards skillful play. Important to note is that the crossfade ability, the shift ability with the two buffs, is actually being played in-game with electronic dance music. Raising the volume! You can actually hear whether or not you're getting healed or whether or not you're getting that movement speed buff if there is a Lucio behind you. The music changes when Lucio activates his pump it up ability as well, so you know when you're getting that little bit of extra help. Until Lucio got introduced, only Symmetra helped out with moving around the map a little faster with her teleporter ability. However, right now, Lucio will be taking that role of extra mobility and he will likely be a very, very crucial part in any kind of composition. Obviously, as a direct healer, he will not be as powerful as, for example, a Mercy, but he has a lot more use besides just healing. The movement speed allows you to get back into the combat really, really rapidly, and it just allows you to play the objectives. Lucio's story is actually very interesting as well. He grew up in a poor neighborhood in Brazil, and after the Omni Crisis, he found a way to lift up the mentality of the people around him with the power of music. He started to perform on street corners and in block parties, and eventually he started doing massive underground shows. The Fishcar Corporation came after a little while and they promised change and improvement in Brazil, however it never really happened. Lucio decided to take matters into his own hands and he stole the Sonic technology from Fishcar and in a popular uprising, they drove Fishcar away from the neighborhoods. During this uprising, his leadership immediately turned him into a star and his popularity skyrocketed. Oh, oh, yeah! With his newfound fame, Lucio wants to use it as an opportunity to make a difference and change the world for the better. I hope this video answered all of the questions that you had about the latest hero of Overwatch. As always, if you have any questions though, specifically about gameplay, feel free to post them down below in the comment section and I will try my very best to answer everything. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day, do not forget to smile and I will see you in the next video.